Alrighty guys, Shiba Inu here we are back with another video today guys If you guys want to pick up a free stock and be able to start trading Shiba Inu as well You guys can hit the link down in the description below from public public is a great social investing network app That allows you to see what other people are buying and selling in both the stock and crypto markets Plus it's kind of a win-win here because they have added Shiba Inu to their roster of tradable tokens And we have been buying a ton of Shiba Inu on that platform So if you guys want to see whenever we're personally buying Shiba Inu hit that link down in the description below and sign up for public. I'd also like to encourage you guys to subscribe, right? That's kind of the easiest and most free way to support us here on this channel. All you guys have to do is hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100K by Christmas. Again, it's a lofty goal. It's something big that we've really been trying to work towards uh, and hopefully you guys can help. Again, all of our videos, we get like, you know, tend to get like 2,000 to 3,000 views per video. Imagine if even 2,000 of you guys, even 1,000 of you guys were able to hit the subscribe button in one video. Uh, we'd be able to hit that goal and help get our message and information out to even more of the Shiba Inu community uh, and help grow as an audience. It would be awesome to see you guys. So either way, hit the subscribe button, but let's get into it, guys. We got a lot of news to cover here, a lot of ground. Uh, again, Shiba Inu is now bouncing back very nicely, as you can see here. We have a huge little green candle forming, or well, not forming, actually, it already formed, I should say. Uh, and as you can see here, this is what we've seen over the last kind of couple of hours. This was pretty much started on November 11th uh, and absolutely skyrocketed towards the upside here. And what's crazy is that, guys, if you were subscribed, to us this is another reason why you should subscribe in yesterday's video I talked about how we're starting to consolidate at these levels and I was not going to be surprised if I saw bullish movement or a huge upside movement uh, towards the 5.4 to even the 5.9 level and getting even close to that again we got to the 5.6 level so the 5.4 prediction was right the 5.9 was a little bit overzealous probably but either way guys we are still moving at a very steady and very uh, just overall consistent pace, right? It's awesome to see that this is where we're at right now. Now, the real thing is if we can hold at these levels and continue to hold, that will be kind of the test of time. And two, what's nice about this guys is we did bounce off that support level that we hit right here. So we do know that Shiba Inu is now has a support level at this kind of level down here around the four, six, seven, eight level. And overall, it looks like it holds pretty well at that level. So that's good news guys. It's good news because that means that there's more potential for a sustained rally and just overall bullish price movement in the future. Let's talk this little piece of news here on Twitter though. We have Shiba Inu news cut right They are a great Twitter account. They always like to cover kind of just everything involved in Shiba Inu uh, where they basically said, hey, we heard you. We will be listing Shiba by Friday on Coin DCX app. Shiba Army, help us spread the news as you can see here. Uh, but guys, so we have a coin listing on the DCX coin app as you can see here. Again, it's a pretty big workers. They have 128,000 followers followed personally by Shaitoshi. Uh, and overall guys, it's just another piece of positive news uh, to kind of add to the overall existence of this crypto. Guys, real quick too, if you're not already, you guys need to follow us on Twitter, guys. We're starting to tweet out Shiba Inu news just as much as these other accounts are, and sometimes we're breaking uh, news as it comes out, guys, which is really, really cool. Uh, so if you guys don't wanna miss the latest and greatest news in Shiba Inu, and just in crypto in general, we're gonna start posting all kinds of stuff on that. Follow us at It's Finance Pro on Twitter, guys. It's a great, great resource for you guys to have. And again, it would be awesome if we can get this account to a thousand followers. Uh, by either next week or even by the end of this video. Who knows how big this video goes today? But either way, guys, it would be really appreciative if you guys can get us to a thousand followers. That would be awesome. But I digress. Let's hop into this. So Shiba Inu is now in the green again, which is obviously something that we've been waiting for for quite some time now. It's something that I think for the most part, it's been on everybody's mind trying to wait and see, hey, you know, is this coin ever going back in the green? Are we gonna get stuck, you know, on this kind of continuing downtrend? But as you can see here, breaking through that major resistance level and through that downtrend was a huge key goal for Chibi Inu. Now that we have done that, I think that pretty much technically we have, from a technical standpoint, I mean, we have, I guess, changed the way that this coin is now going to start trading because now uh, we haven't been stuck to this kind of low and slow format of like movement right we're now kind of moving towards the upside uh in a more kind of frantic pace and manner especially with this huge green candle that we formed uh and again as long as we can consolidate at these highs and maybe even start to curl upwards right because that's a big thing curling is a huge part uh, of charts if you guys look at some of this right we saw a huge pump to the upside here uh, but we didn't curl up right we only curled kind of down and that was just kind of the huge amount of downward pressure there's a lot of people selling right now unfortunately the volume is still re relative 
relatively high right on this coin but the problem is is that there is more sellers than buyers right now well previously rather there's more sellers than buyers but now it seems that that narrative has started to change right we're starting to see uh, more buyers than there are sellers especially when it's this low and in fact we can even pull up the rsi to kind of prove this uh you know to prove the sentiment right that i'm kind of trying to make the case that i'm making uh, the rsi shows whether or not if you're not familiar with the rsi it shows whether or not a stock or a crypto is overbought or oversold right 30 uh, down here at the bottom of the rsi being oversold and uh, 70 rather uh, at the top being overbought now as you can see here when Shiba Inu was hitting those lows around that level, again, people were buying, right? Because people thought, hey, this is a good deal. Look how low the RSI is below that, uh, below the 30 line, which signifies this coin is heavily oversold. I'm gonna buy in and try to get some stuff at a discount, right? And again, something very similar happened here at this first kind of huge dip that we saw where people, again, bought the dip and again it bounced off that nicely and kept going this coin is very very easy to chart guys it's very easy to track uh, as far as technical analysis goes and it's very easy to understand which is always a plus for a coin like this because again it makes it easier to follow and it makes it easier and less stressful uh, to kind of convince myself to buy the dips on it right not only do i believe in this coin obviously but when it kind of sells off like this i can check some of the technicals and go oh, this dip is pretty much done. I mean, look at the RSI. It's like all the way down here. Now I can buy, right? So either way, it's a really, really awesome tool to use. Uh, and it's something that's very helpful. One last thing uh, I wanted to cover, and I thought this was a, kind of an interesting point here. So this is the Fear and Greed Index. If you guys aren't familiar with what this is or what it does, uh, basically it is an index that covers how greedy everybody in the market is or how, uh, I guess, bearish or you know fearful everyone is, right? So when the market is in greed, when there's a lot of greed in the market, usually the market is euphoric, right? All the coins are pumping, all the stocks are pumping, uh, every asset in the financial markets is doing amazing, and nobody's worried, right? Everybody's like, this is awesome, we need to buy more, 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 and people are buying and, and continue to buy, and the prices continue to go up, right? But you have the other side of the coin, you have fear, right? Where pretty much this is going to go the other way uh, and people are going to be scared, right? A lot of the stock prices and coin prices are gonna be plummeting, right? They're gonna be dirt cheap, disgustingly cheap, like ridiculously cheap. And everybody's worried, right? Everybody's worried that it's not gonna go back up, that it's never gonna go back up, that this is it, right? This is the very end. And uh, Warren Buffett is a big advocate for this. Obviously, if you guys don't know who Warren Buffett is, huge accredited investor uh, at Berkshire Hathaway. And of course, what he talks about is with greed, uh, you know, the greedier the market is, right? You don't want to be buying in a greedy market. You want to be buying uh, in a fearful market. And again, this is not really like exactly related to Shiba Inu coin, right? This is the overall crypto market. But if you're in crypto in general, I think this is just a great point to make that you don't wanna be buying at all time highs, right? You do not wanna be doing that because most of the time when a coin is at all time highs, typically, uh, you know, it's gonna pull back, it's gonna correct something. That's what we saw with Shiba Inu. And this last rally, we hit all time highs and we had to breathe, right? We needed breathing room because otherwise, well, this thing was gonna fall way further than this uh, if we continue to just run up. Again, it would be awesome if it continued to run up, but again, there needs to be correction, there needs to be consolidation uh, for future price pumps. But either way, guys, that is pretty much it today for this coin.